بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم in today's lesson we're going to have an overview of uh, how to conjugate simple verbs in both uh, past tense and present tense let's have a look at the past tense first using darasa as our template darasa he studied Darasat, she studied. Look at the difference between he studied and she studied. The only thing there is the addition of this ta with sukun. Darasat, she studied. If you do that to any verb, we say he did whatever it is, just at at the end become she did the same verb. Darasa, you will see we still keep the darasa, but this alif, it is a lengthening alif, it is an alif of ifnain. It is the duo alif, indicating that we have two men or boys did the verb. In this case, they studied. For two female studied is the same alif. With of course the ta original ta to indicate is uh, feminine. Darasa ta we put fatiha here because of the alif. Darasa ta they meaning two women or two girls studied. Plural. Darasu they three or more masculine studied. Look that this is the first time we're amending the the last vowel on the. A third root letter. So we ooh ending for they meaning three men or boys studied. In the feminine equivalent, we change this fat house, we change it into sukun. We say daras and then we add the na to indicate the plural for feminine. Daras na. So darasa, darasat, darasa, darasata, darasu, daras na. Now, let's look at the second person to say you singular male studied, you singular female studied, you two male studied, you two female studied, you lot three or more male studied, and you lot uh, three or more female studied. Darasta, that means you singular male studied darasti you singular female studied the difference is ta and ti for you female you two male and you two female is the same ending daras tuma daras tuma you two whether you are male or two female studied this is the same ending plural second person that is tum tum ending if you are speaking to group of men three or more that is tum you studied if you are speaking to group of female women that is tunna is tunna ending now if you look at this very carefully you will let you find the common ground first the common ground in this is sukun all of them, all these six, they are carrying sukun on the third root letter. Daras, 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 and daras. Once you uh, have identified that with any noun, any, any, any verb, like jalas, 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 the attached pronoun is one you need to learn. So, just learn ta for male section, ta, tuma, Tum. It's like a tomato. Ta tumatum. Ta tumatum. And for feminine section, is it ti tumatuna? It's like a tuna. So you have tomato for men and the tuna for women. You say ta tumatum ending. And for feminine, ti tumatuna. I thought that may help you to remember it. Just remember you put sukun all the way and then add ta tumatum and ti tumatuna. Now, 
Let's do the first person, uh, I and we. Again, you need to come. You say that us, and then you add two. I studied, and the male and female will say the same thing. And we studied sukun as well, and we add na. And na we, masculine and feminine, is the same. That is na, that's the first person. First person in Arabic is um, gender neutral. That is a, a picture for you for uh, conjugating verb. And this is the fundamental and the foundation for all the conjugation. If you are comfortable with this, the rest of the conjugation in Arabic will become so much, much easier for you. Just a little bit of amendment here and there to these will carry you through all the rest of the uh, conjugation in Arabic. That's your past tense. Let's look at the present tense. The present tense, as you can see, you still have the same three root letters. They are in black. So let's look at the... Uh, First of all, uh, he studies, they, two men study or studying, and Yadrusuna, they, three or more men study or studying. Look at the, what has happened in the red. Here, there's no red at the beginning at all. Your uh, adjustment is at the end, but in the present tense, in both ends. So you have your pretext. Uh, prefix, rather, prefixes is a uh, ya all the way through for masculine in the third root letter. So you are standing ya, ya, ya. Ya for the uh, singular, ya for the duo, and ya starting for the plural as well. But in, for the feminine, in the third root, you are starting with the ta for singular, ta for duo, and ya for plural so you may like to know how to remember that remember your prefix here in the, in the third person male is ya 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 starting and for female is ta ta ya so ya 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 ta ta ya 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 ta ta ya i love this kind of things right that's your third that's your third person so yeturusu he studies or studying. Tedurusu, she studies or she is studying. Yedurusani, any ending. They, two men, uh, studying. Tedurusani, they, two women, studying. Yedurusuna, they, three men or more, studying. Yedurusna, they, three women or more, studying. Let's look at the second person in the present tense. The first thing we need to look at as well is the uh, prefix. The prefix, uh, oh, that one, is not complicated. It's ta, 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 ta. All six is ta. You start ta, 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 ta. Anytime you want to say you are doing something, in the present tense, you must start with ta, regardless of the number, regardless of the gender. Ta, ta, ta. Da, 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 But in the th third person is ya, 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 da, da, ya. Okay. So, Tetrusu, you masculine singular studying. Tetrusina, you feminine singular studying. Ina endings when you are speaking to feminine singular in the present tense. Tetrusina, Tetrusina. Tefhamina, Teshkurina, and so on. In the second person, which is your duo, Tedrusani, Tedrusani is identical to the, uh, the male and female is the same. Tedrusani, Tedrusani. And Tedrusna is Tedrusuna for singular, and so plural, male, second person, Tedrusuna ending, and Tedrusna for female. I is ad rusu and nad rusu. Ad rusu, I study. Nad rusu, we study or studying as well. That is a picture, complete picture for you in relation to the past tense conjugation as well as the uh, uh, present tense 
conjugation as well. So the picture, hopefully, you can compare and contrast between the past tense and present tense. Just look at the, the one in black. That's your, uh, your, your, your radical letters, your strong consonants. And that is what you need to concentrate on and then see all the changes happening around them. Okay, good luck with that and revise that. You may like to check the Gateway to Arabic Book 3. Uh, you find the past tense conjugation on page 10 and the Gateway to Arabic Book 3 as well. On the page, I think, on page uh, 52, you find the present tense conjugation there as well. Good luck with that and inshallah next lesson if you want to know about the uh, imperative which is a, a command how to conjugate that uh, search for that title in this series uh, gateway to arabic book three in the meantime ma salama ila fi amanillah